In this video, we're going to look at the sum of a finite geometric sequence. So just like with a arithmetic sequence, if you want to know the sum of the first, I don't know, 20 terms, uh, rather than just add them up one by one, there's a formula, and we came up with that. For a geometric, there's also a formula, which we're going to derive here. So, I mean, for example, if I have a geometric sequence that looks like this, 2, uh, 6, 18, uh, 54, 162, etc. Let's say I wanted to add up the first, uh, if I wanted to add up the first four terms, right, I could just add those numbers up. If I wanted to add up the first five, I'd add up those numbers. But what if I wanted to add up uh, the first, you know, 35 terms? It would be nice if I had a formula, and that's what this video is going to motivate. We're going to come up with that formula here. So, um, this this video doesn't have a nice little story the way that the uh, the arithmetic one did, but it there is a nice trick that we're going to use here. So just recall that for a geometric sequence, the explicit formula is that any term is the first term times that common ratio to the n minus one. And so what that means is, if I want, if I want to add up the first, if I want to add up the first n terms, the first n terms would be my first term plus my second term. Now what's my second term? My second term I can write it as a two, a sub two. But I could also write write it by plugging in my two into this. Right? And if I plug that in, I get a one times r right and then if I want to add up the first three terms it would be a1 times r squared a1 times r cubed etc right another way to think of it is you just you know in the geometric you keep multiplying by the same number so we started with a and then we just keep multiplying by r to get to the next number but we're adding them up and so uh, I'm adding up the first n terms so I'm going to stop right here at the n uh, the nth term, which is a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So I'm going to call this the sum of the first n terms. I'm going to notate it with that little subscript. Now I'm going to do a little trick here. And that little trick is I'm going to multiply both sides of this by r. So I'm going to times by r both sides of this equation. So if I times it by r, then below what I get is r times s sub n is equal to. And now multiplying through all these terms by r, what it does is it, well, for the first term, it just glues an r to it, right? So, right, if the, the r times this a sub 1 gives me, gives me an a sub 1 times r, so I'm going to write it below the other one. And then what it's going to do is, you know, if I multiply this r times this a1 r squared, it's going to bump up the exponent. So that's a1, uh, I'm sorry, what I meant to say was if I multiply it times this one it's going to bump it up to a1r squared. If I multiply it by this one, it's going to multi uh, bump it up to a sub 1 plus r cubed. So the point is, right, I'm getting everything back again, just a little bit shifted. So notice, I'll keep doing this until, until I get to um, this guy here, a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Right. If I multiply the term before this one, it's going to bump it up one more. But if I multiply my r times this, it's going to bump it up. It's going to bump it up to. The, it's going to bump that exponent up one more. So what's one more than n minus one? It's n. So this is plus a sub one times r to the n. And now we're going to do a little subtraction. 
So I'm just going to subtract the, the red from the blue. So S sub n minus R times S sub n, we'll write that as S sub n minus R times S sub n. And that's equal to, now just go term by term, A sub 1 minus 0, all right? There's really just a 0 there, is your A sub 1. This minus this cancels out. This minus this cancels out. This minus this cancels out. The results all in zero. This minus this cancels out. And now here I've got zero minus a sub uh, one times r to the n. So that's just a, mi a negative a sub one times r to the n. And so now what I can do is I'm going to factor out an s sub n here because that's what I'm solving for. I, again, remember that's what I want. I want the sum of the f I want a formula for the sum of the first n terms. So this is And you know what? I'm going to factor out an a sub 1 out of this too while I'm at it. And now I'm going to divide by 1 minus r. And I get it. Here's my formula. So the f if I want to know the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, all I need to do is plug in the first term, plug in the first term, uh, plug in the r value. Those are usually usually easy to find. And then that n is just how many terms I want to add up. So if I want to add up the first 100, I'd n would be 100. The first 20, I'd n would be 20. So let's do a quick example of this in the next, uh, the next video, or um, the next slide. So find the sum of the first n terms of the geometric sequence, and let's make my sequence look like this. 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. And let's add up the first 18 terms. That's what we're, to we're told. So this is easy now because I, ha I know from my formula that the sum of the first 18 terms is going to equal my first term, which is 4, times 1 minus my r value is, well, it looks like I'm timesing by 2 every time. So that's 2 to the n. And I'm dividing by my 1 minus r. And so now I simplify. Um, so if you plug in, so th there is room, still room for mistake here. Um, first of all, remember, notice that in this situation we have to get a positive number, right? We're adding up all positive numbers. So the, the fact that we have a negative here might make you uncomfortable. 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. But this is also negative, and a negative divided by a negative would make it a positive. Um, this right here in the rectangle, I usually, I usually punch in first in the calculator, and that gave, that gave me this. This at the bottom again is a negative 1. And then, whether you rely on the calculator or not, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And now you do 4 times uh, 262,143. Uh, you get your final answer of 1,048,000. So if you add up the first 18 terms of this geometric sequence, that answer is 1,048,572.